Hello, wonderful people. I welcome you once again. Thank you for joining me on another topic of today, which we, which we are going to talk about midnight prayers. Thank you, my old subscribers, my new subscribers, my viewers. I welcome everyone. And remember to subscribe in case if you haven't done so. Do you know the power of midnight prayer? Do you know what midnight prayer can do for you? Is there anything you have been asking God to do for you for a very long time and you don't know how you can succeed in having it? First of all, when you ask God for something, you need to believe that he has already answered you. Then for you to fast track whatever that thing is, I urge you to do a midnight prayer. What time are you going to do this particular midnight prayer? You can start from 12, 1, 2 and 3. 4 o'clock is also good, but make sure it's between 12, 1, 2, and 3. Any of this time when you wake up, begin to pray. When you mention prayer, sometimes people get scared like they're going to pray for so long. You can talk to God. Let's just call it talking to God. You can wake up from your bed. Remove your slippers. Make sure you put your bed feet on the floor. If then talk to God. You can stand up to do this. You can sit down to do this. You can even sit on the floor or you can kneel down. But the one I love most is sitting and standing. Begin to talk to him. How do you start? Don't start by asking. Start by being grateful. Be grateful for everything. Be grateful for your life. Be grateful that God woke you up at that time. Be grateful for everything you've acquired so far in life. Be grateful for your children. Be grateful for your home. Just be grateful. Then after that, begin to thank him. You need to thank him. You are being grateful. You are being thankful. It goes together. When you finish that, that is when you will remind him. Not reminding like asking. Okay, let's just say you are looking for a way to furnish your house. Maybe you just moved into a new house without any furniture. You're still sleeping on the bed floor. Let's begin at that. Begin to thank him for furnishing that house already for you. Begin to thank him for putting all those upholsteries, for putting freezers, for putting bed. Thank him that even though you know you are sleeping on a bed floor, that you are, you've already acquired that bed through him. It's that simple. That is what I mean by talking to God, praying to God any way you want it. As you are thanking him for those unseen blessings, they are dropping spiritually. Oh yes, they are dropping spiritually. Believe, have faith. Then when you do this between 12, 1, 2, and 3, watch out what will happen in your life. You'll be shocked. It's not as if all the while you've been praying that God doesn't want to answer you. But there's something about midnight prayer. There's something about this time. It is the time all spirits are off. It is the time both the evil spirits and the, and the good spirits are all up, hovering around. That is why we are supposed to equip ourselves in prayers at this time because you don't want the negative spirit to come into your house and destroy things for you. So at this time, invite the Holy Spirit of God to dwell in your home, to shield you away from those evil spirits. Then begin to appreciate God in his goodness. All these examples I just gave, try it. I don't know what your own problem is. If your problem is like getting a job or getting a new house or buying a car, try it at this time. Appreciate. Thank him for that blessing, the one you're aspiring to get, but thank him like you've already gotten it. Between one, two, three, and four, choose the one that is best. Because at that time, everything is still. Human beings' life, are all still, people are sleeping, no business is happening at that time, then the heavenly beings have enough time to hear, to be with you. And you, when you call the heavenly beings at that time, your prayers are immediately answered because there is no distraction where you are, not where God is. Because we're always distracted with phones, with works, uh, with everything we're doing for the day. But at that time, you are doing absolutely nothing. So that time is dedicated to God Almighty alone. If you can do this at this time, 
you must surely come back to tell us that you've acquired that job, that you've purchased that upholstery, those chairs, that you've already purchased whatever, or maybe that business you've been looking for, for it to click for you has finally clicked and you've been paid. One thing about all these things we're talking about, it's not about listening and not applying. Please, kill that sleep. If you feel your sleep will not allow you to do this prayer, then begin to sleep around 7. If you can go to bed around 7 in the evening, go to bed around 7 in the evening. So that when it gets to like 11.30, you wake up. Even if you didn't set alarm, when you go to bed early, in those middle of the nights we normally wake up, you must surely wake up between 12, 1, 2, and 3. It happens. Then, as for this thing, be grateful and thank God. Every of your answers will start dropping one by one. So, I want you to try this thing that I just talked about now because it worked wonders. It has done a lot for me in my family and I pray it happens to you as well. In case you enjoy this topic for today, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And until next time, I'm going to bring you all another topic. It is bye from me to you.